Strangers have taken our daughters, raided our farmlands, and killed our animals. They are enslaving our sons, and have made their way to the king's palace. Nonsense, Taguro retorted. It is impossible. Everyone knows that I, Taguro, the mighty warrior of warriors, protect this town. But it's true, sir, replied the messenger. Leave this place at once. I will have no one interrupt my meal, and with these words, Taguro shut his door and retired to his inner chambers. After a short while, there was a loud knock on his door. He ignored it, but then the loud knock turned into a thud. The effortry Taguro scoffed. Walking towards the door, he screamed, I thought I asked you to get out of. But before he could finish his sentence, the large door swung open and the Kanduza soldiers swarmed in. Taguro was in shock. Due to his height, the soldiers did not notice him but ran right in. They were amazed at what they saw, the gold, plenty of food, and the likes. They started to fill their bags when immediately the doors swung shut behind them, and they beheld Taguro in all his might. Taguro picked up his axe, Out in the streets of Akama, terror spread everywhere. Women ran with their children to take cover from the invaders. The general on his horse rode fast through the village and swung up items that interested him with his sword. The king of the village has been captured. He was tied to a rope and was being pulled by a horse around the village until he confesses about the whereabouts of the village's treasures. As the general rode past Taguro's house, the king pointed, there it is. Our treasures are in that mighty warehouse. So the general stopped the horse, drew his sword, and walked slowly towards the door of the house which was slightly ajar. What a mighty storehouse of treasure, he jested towards the king. I may as well be known as even greater than Christopher Columbus. Who would have known that such an unworthy village possessed so great a bounty? As he got to the door, the general peeped in. Taguro smiled at the general through the space of the door, and the general was so frightened at what he saw that he peed his pants. What's the matter, my friend? Late for the party. Why don't you come on in? I've got some treasure for you. Hearing these words, the general tried to run, but Taguro launched his long arms and grabbed him, pulling him into the house and shutting the door. When the rest of the soldiers realized the general had gone missing for a while, they started to ask each other about his whereabouts. The soldiers outside grew restless as their general failed to return. Murmurs spread among them like wildfire, whispers of uncertainty mixed with fear. Where's the general? One asked nervously, glancing towards Taguro's house. Another soldier, braver than the rest, stepped forward. I'll go check on him, he declared, trying to muster some courage. With hesitant steps, he approached the door of Taguro's house, his hand trembling as he reached for the handle. As he pushed the door open, the soldier's eyes widened in horror at the sight before him. There, standing tall and imposing, was Taguro, holding the general by his collar like a rag doll. The soldier's heart pounded in his chest as he stared at the scene unfolding before him. Taguro's deep voice rumbled through the air, sending shivers down the soldier's spine. Looking for someone, he asked, his tone laced with amusement. The soldier stumbled backward his legs threatening to give out beneath him. I, 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 he stammered, unable to form coherent words. With a swift motion, Taguro tossed the trembling general out the door, sending him sprawling onto the ground outside. The soldier's comrades gasped in shock as they saw their leader humiliated before them. But Taguro wasn't finished yet. With a thunderous roar, he charged out of his house, wielding his axe with deadly precision. The soldiers stood frozen in terror as the giant descended upon them like a force of nature. In mere moments, the battle was over. The soldiers from Kanduza were defeated, their ranks decimated by Taguro's might. The villagers emerged from their hiding places, cheering and thanking their protector for saving them from certain doom. From that day forward, Taguro was hailed as a hero in the village of Akama. His legend grew even greater his feats of strength and bravery celebrated for generations to come. And as for the invaders from Kanduza, they would never forget the day they crossed paths with the mighty giant of Akama.